Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week we're going to continue with our Building a Better Background series. Now I've got some brand new stencil designs with Joggles.com that I've been featuring in these videos and this week I've got yet another way for you to apply your new stencils that you have purchased from Joggles and if you haven't gotten yours yet there's a link below. This is another way you can use stencils to pattern and build backgrounds before you collage. So if you've got a minute, let's go check that out. So today we are going to use another one of the stencils that I designed for joggles.com in a different way to create a background. So the paints that I have got out are the um, Conacridone Nickel Azo Gold Golden Fluid Acrylic, the uh, Titan Buff Golden Fluid Acrylic, and Iridescent Gold Deep Fine Fluid Acrylic. I've also got a couple of uh, makeup cosmetic makeup sponges and my stencil design, which is well-loved and colorful. Um, and this is a two inch deep cradled panel that I have glued this paper, um, which is sort of an uh, accounting uh, list um, to all the sides and the front. So I have glued my paper down. It is completely dry and is it adhered to all edges. And I am going to now create a stenciled background over this solid paper. So the first step is to lay the stencil onto the board. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the nickel Ozzo gold and squeeze it out onto my palette paper here and then I'm just going to dab my sponge my makeup sponge into the paint no water just the makeup sponge directly into the paint and I'm going to hold this stencil in place and I'm going to dab my color around sort of moving around leaving room to add the gold as well so I'm dabbing through the makeup sponge keeping the stencil secure and sort of moving around Getting a nice soft edge, a little more paint I'm down the bottom. And when this dries, we're going to do then flip it and do the edges, the sides as well, the same technique, but we're going to have to wait for the front to dry before you do the sides. So keep that in mind. We want finished edges all the way around. So I've got my, my nickel azo gold. Now I'm going to bring in the metallic gold. I'm gonna switch up my sponge so I've got a clean one. And now I'm gonna put the metallic gold in some of those spaces that I left. And I'll leave some of them also plain. And because the fluid acrylics are highly translucent and we apply this very lightly with the sponge, we are still gonna be able to see the handwriting that's so beautiful coming through this. So now I'm gonna remove the stencil and I've got this really fun floral pattern on the background. And it's a little busy because there's very high contrast between the nickel azo gold, the gold, and the white. So that's where the Titan buff is going to come in. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to slightly tone down the whole thing with a little bit of the Titan buff. So let's let this dry, and then we'll come back to it. In the meantime, though, I can show you how to do one edge, basically. We're going to tip it up. Put the stencil it's a little trickier down the side like this but we're going to do the same thing and you're going to get the same effect on the side that you have on the front so then when you come into the room and see this painting on the wall from an angle the background wraps all the way around the edges this isn't going to take long to dry because it's being absorbed into the paper and because it's acrylic. So we'll give it a minute. So the best way to approach this next step is to go slow. Have a little paint on your sponge and go slowly. Add the buff slowly so that you don't put on more than you want. And if the background's a bit wet when you start it, that's um, kind of okay because it'll softly blend some of the things on the lower layer as well. But you can see that this 
buff is sort of evening out, so it's not quite so high contrast. I put a little more than I wanted to on there. Let's see if I can lift it with this other sponge. Yeah, there we go. I lift it with a clean sponge. That sort of softens it, brings it back a little bit. A very little bit of paint, very lightly. You can always add more, but it's very difficult to take it away. Okay, so I'm toning down that bright white paper in the background. I'm also toning down the colors that I put on so that I sort of get a an evenness, a smoother, because you don't want your background to be more busy than your collage. So you definitely want it to be sort of in the realm of neutral. So it's okay to tone down some of this and go for a background that's a little softer. So here we're softening with the Titan Buff Fluid Acrylic, dabbing it, and there you have it. You have a nice, soft, golden yellow background with the Wildflower pattern, pattern from the stencil and that lovely handwriting from the list that I glued onto the two inch deep wood panel. So, and again, we will do the same on the sides that we did on the front. So the whole effect wraps all the way around the board. And that is another in the series of building backgrounds. Happy Friday, and thank you for being here.